हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन आई पोस्ट माई न्यू वीडियोज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड दट इज शेयर फोर्स एंड बेडिंग मूवमेंट सो कमिंग ऑन टू द फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज दट इज शेयर फोर्स शेयर फोर्स इट इज अ फोर्स कॉम्पोनेंट विच इज एक्टिंग पैरल टू द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चरल सर्फेस सो इट इज ऑल्सो डिफाइंड एज द फोर्स विच टेन टू शेयर ऑफ द सेक्शन एंड इज ऑप्टेन्ड एज द अलजीब्राइक समेशन ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस विच इंक्लूड्स द रिएक्शन एंड विच इंक्लूड्स द रिएक्शन विच इज एक्टिंग नॉर्मल टू द एक्सेस ऑफ द बीम इधर टू वर्ड्स लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड ऑफ द बीम सो शेयर फोर्स इट इज द फोर्स विच टेंस टू शेयर ऑफ द सेक्शन एंड इज ऑप्टेन एज अलजीब्राइक समेशन ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस अलजीब्राइक समेशन ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस एंड द रिएक्शन एक्टिंग नॉर्मल टू द एक्सेस ऑफ द बीम इधर टू वर्ड्स लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड ऑफ द बीम सो कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दट इज साइन कन्वेंशन विच इज फॉलोड फॉर द शेयर फोर्स सो हियर द शेयर फोर्स at the section is considered to be as positive when the resultant of the forces when the resultant of the forces to the left of the section is upward direction or to the right of the section is in downward direction i just repeat it shear force at the section is considered to be as positive when the resultant of forces towards the left side of the section is in upward direction or right side of the section is in upward direction so uh, right side of the section is in downward direction so similarly the shear force at the section is considered to be as negative if the resultant of forces to the left of the section is in downward direction or right of the section is in upward direction i just repeat it once again so shear force is considered to be as positive when the resultant of the forces to the left of the section is in upward direction or to the right of the section is in downward direction similarly the shear force uh, at the section is considered to be as negative if the resultant of the forces to the left of the section is in downward direction or right of the section is in upward direction so these are the this is a tabular column which uh, is the representation of shear force uh, sign convention in brief so here i have just taken an example for easy understanding of the sign convention of the shear force here i have taken a simply supported beam ab which is carrying a load of uh, 1000 newton magnitude at its midpoint at exactly at its midpoint so the reactions at the support uh, Uh, R A and R B is is equal to five hundred newton. So I just imagine the beam is to be divided into two parts by the section X X. The resultant of the load and the reaction to the left of the X X is only five hundred newton. So which is vertically upwards. So which is vertically upward. You just you can just observe here. towards the left side of the section xx only one uh, force which is uh, there that is 500 newton which is present in left side direction which is in the upward vertically upward direction so similarly so if i want to calculate the resultant of the force in the right side direction of uh, xx section so it is nothing but uh we have the two forces here so one is 1000 newton and another is 500 newton so 1000 is acting in the downward direction so it is taken as a positive so since it is uh, from the right uh, towards the right hand side of the section so as per our sign convention right hand side downward uh, direction of the force is taken as positive so 1000 newton is taken as positive here so and 500 newton uh, at rb is taken as negative why because it is acting in the upward direction so right side uh, upward direction force hence it is taken as a minus 500 so therefore or the uh, resultant force of this 500 and 1000 is nothing but 500 newton which is acting in downward direction so this is the resultant force 
which is acting at any one of the part normal to the axis of the beam which is called as shear force at section xx so next coming on to the next concept that is a bending moment so bending moment is nothing but it is a reaction induced in the structural element when a external force or moment is applied to the element causing the element to bend or it is also defined as the algebraic summation of all the moments of the forces and uh, reaction in the beam towards either left side or right side of the support is known as bending moment so bending moment it is the algebraic summation of all the moments of the forces and reaction in the beam towards either left or right side of the support is known as bending moment so next coming on to the next important concept uh, that is uh, types of bending moment so first and foremost important type of the bending moment is called as uh, sagging bending moment so it is the moment about the point which produces convexity below the center line and is called as sagging bending moment so it is the moment about the point which produces convexity below the center line is called as sagging bending moment or it is also called as positive bending moment so i have just uh, for easy understanding i have just uh, uh, taken an example here so i have just considered a simply supported beam with a center concentrated load of magnitude equal to f the moment due to the force f produces a deflection in the downward direction which in turn results in formation of sagging bending moment so here you can just observe here the initial position of the so you can just observe the initial position of the uh, of the moment here is i mean the initial position of the beam here is a straight line so the after the deflection the uh, the position of the um, the position of the beam has been sagged by producing convexity below the center line below the center line so this is all about the sagging bending moment so next coming on to the next important uh, type of the moment that is uh, hogging bending moment so this is the moment about the point which produces convexity above the center line and is called as hogging bending moment so it is the uh, it is the moment about the point which produces convexity above the center line which is called as hogging bending moment and is also called as negative bending moment so here you can just uh, observe here i have considered a simply supported beam with the center concentrated load of uh, a magnitude equal to f which is acting in the upward direction so the moment due to the force f produces a deflection in the upward direction which in turn for, uh, results in the formation of uh, hogging bending moment so here you can just observe the initial position of the beam before loading was straight so after the deflection the deflected shape of the uh, beam produces the convexity above the center line which in turn produces the hogging bending moment so next important uh, concept that is uh, difference between the sagging and hogging bending moment so as in case of sagging bending moment it is the moment which is uh, moment about the point which produces a convexity below the center line so as in case of hogging bending moment it is the moment about the point which produces convexity above the center line so these are the uh, diagrammatic representation sagging bending moment is also called as positive positive bending moment and as in case of hogging bending moment it is also uh, termed as negative bending moment so here as in case of sagging bending moment the top fibers of the beam are subjected to compressive compression so as in case of hogging bending moment the top fibers of the beam are subjected to tension so as in case of sagging bending moment the bottom fibers of the beam are subjected to tension and as in case of hogging bending moment the bottom fibers of the beam are subjected to compression so the next uh, important concept uh, is the sign convention as in case of uh, as in case of the bending moment 
so here you can just observe that the bending moment at the section section is considered to be as positive if the bending moment at the section is such that it tends to bend the beam to a curved uh, to a curvature having concavity at the top is uh, which is as shown in the figure a concavity at the top and similarly the bending moment at the section is considered to be as negative if the bending moment at the section is such that it tends to bend the beam uh, to a curvature having the con convexity at the top so here uh, just for easy understanding so whenever whenever uh, we experience or whenever the beam experience the positive bending moment in the case when uh, from the left hand side uh, the for the moment uh, is considered to be as positive bending moment if its direction is clockwise direction and uh, from the right hand side if its direction is anti clockwise direction so similarly the negative bending moment is observed in a beam in uh, from the left hand side when the direction is anti clockwise and uh, as in case of right hand side the direction of the moment is clockwise so therefore the positive bending moment as in case of left hand side uh, the direction is clockwise and uh, positive bending moment as in case of right hand side it is the anti clockwise uh, moment so similarly the negative bending moment from the left hand side direction it is anti clockwise direction of the moment so negative bending moment as in case of from the right hand side it is the positive moment so these are the sign convention so for easy understanding i have just taken an example here um, so uh, i have just considered a, again a simply supported beam ab which is carrying the load of 1000 newton at it, exactly at its midpoint so the reaction at ra and rb are equal which is having the magnitude of 500 newton so i have just imagine the beam uh, to be divided into two portions by the section xx so let the section xx is at the distance of 1 meter from uh, which is at the distance of 1 meter from a so the moment of all the forces towards the left of xx at the section xx is ra into 1 so here Uh, if i want to consider the moment uh, at left hand side of the section xx so we have the force as ra the distance a perpendicular distance as uh, uh, one so here we have the force as ra the perpendicular distance as one so therefore uh, it is ra into one so here go along the force through the line of action it is a clockwise moment so also the moments of all the forces towards the right of the section xx is nothing but so that is uh, so if we want to find out the uh, bending moment uh, from the right hand side of the span so we have the two forces that is 1000 and 500 so starting from starting from uh, uh, 500 so 500 into 500 into uh it is 3 so 2 plus this is 1 so 500 into 3 uh, which is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that is go along the force through the line of action it is uh, negative so i mean uh, 500 into 3 uh, then uh, 500 into 3 and then 1000 into 1 1000 into 1 it is acting in the clockwise direction go along the force through the line of action so 500 into 3 and then 1000 into 1000 into 1 so this 500 into 3 it is acting in the anti clockwise direction so right hand side anti clockwise direction of the moment as per our sign convention is positive and uh, this is acting 1000 into 1 it is acting in the clockwise direction so 1000 uh, but right hand side clockwise direction the moment is considered as uh, uh, negative so here uh, it is uh, 1500 minus 1000 it comes on to be 500 newton meter in the 
positive uh, uh, convention this positive conduction uh, convention indicates that it is in the anti clockwise direction so this is what the sign convention as in case of bending moment thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the video thank you